All right, guys. I've been talking to Aldo at NJ Steel, and um, uh, I have three pieces of Nitro V here that I'm going to water quench, oil quench, and air quench them, and I'm gonna study the actual grain, how indense is going to be. And as far as 1095 and W2, I'm going to experiment these with my forge, and how am I gonna get the hamon out of this thing? Uh, I have a project coming up, so I have to study this one as well. So we'll see how is that gonna go. Thanks for watching. While the forge is getting heat up, so here's my oil, fast quenching oil from KNG, water, and two block of aluminum. We'll see how is that gonna work out. I'm gonna put the temperature of the water a little bit higher, and same as the oil. We'll see how is that gonna go. One last thing, I got a huge uh, speaker magnet here, so I'm gonna test it uh, for the non-magnetic point before I quench it there. So it's gonna be a good experiment. We'll see. Okay, in the process of putting my water temperature high. So let's see what's the temperature. All right, we're checking the temperature. I think we are about to write. I'm gonna take it to 120 before I quench anything into it. Okay, and we're going for our oil temperature. Oil temperature is pretty good. We're ready to quench on that. So it should be good to go for that. One last time. Let it go high. I'm gonna get the temperature. There we go. We're good on there. Nitro V's are inside the forage, so we're gonna wait until they get to the non-magnetic bin down there. So we'll see. Guys, I just got the question that why I hang the magnet like this one. So here's the reason. If I have a steel, this magnet is powerful enough to attach to it, but if it's non-magnetic, it doesn't get to it. So that's why I'm hanging it. We're going to test one of these with the magnet. As you see is in non-magnetic point except my tongue right we're going for the oil it's non-magnetic we go in and let it cool off here is the water non-magnetic go in And here is the air, non-magnetic, putting it down there, and put my blocks on it. And I'm gonna cool it off with the air compressor a little bit. Well, here is the result. This is oil quench, turned black, water kind of rusty, and air much more clean. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up one side of this one, and uh, test it with the file, and then break it. All right, brushed off all the scales from him, and um, now it's ready for the file, so we'll see how is it gonna result on this one. Here's the oil, file slitting perfectly. Water, same result, and air, just a little bit grippy. We'll see when we break him, how is it gonna go. I tried it to video the breaking process, unfortunately with one handed breaking these things it wasn't easy. So here's the result, this is oil and I'm going to post a picture of it but this is perfect, I couldn't be happier with the oil clean, super clean and really nice, I love this grain. And then the water is not as clean but it's better, I'm going to get a micro shot from these. And then the air quench, oh man, I couldn't break this thing. As I was expecting, it, it's still soft, so that's not easy to break. But I think that oil first and then water, oil is better, obviously. You can get that really nice grain on this thing. Look at that. Here is some macro shot from the oil grain. So you can see the difference. You can see the scales outside. You have to remove it and the grain inside. And here's the macro shot 
from the water you see the grain is not as clean see so many gaps in between and deformation here's the result side by side left side is oil quench and right side is water quench and um, uh, you see the difference between the grain uh, obviously uh, the oil quench is better I'm glad I did this study